James. Aha. Uh -huh. Which brings us to the other side of our studio. James, not with a giant peach, but with an well, interesting tablet and uh, right. a lot of truth or fake. That's right. An uncooperative tablet at times. In any case, things Mark, happen, but I'm sure you can make it all happen. We'll try at least. Now, this evening we're looking at two stories related to uh, related to COVID-19. Now, the first uh, is a media here in France called Vécu de. Uh, it has 111,000 followers, and uh, uh, what what we can see with this uh, with this particular um, uh, uh, media is that they've been showing a quite quite a quite a forcible arrest that took place in French Polynesia. Now, you can see some of the scenes here uh, relayed on uh, another um, another website, but it certainly he was being pulled out, he was being hauled out, and uh, he uh, ended up resisting that arrest quite uh, quite uh, passionately. And the scenes were then shared around the world, and what. What a lot of people were, were, were saying or claiming uh, is that uh, that this that the arrest was as a result of his uh, using hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin to treat uh, COVID nineteen. Now, while it is the case that here in, in Dr. Paul Jean Paul Terron is his name, it was all over the place. That media that I mentioned, VQ2, uh, basically said that uh, he that that this brutal arrest was directly as a result of his uh, how he was choosing to treat patients for COVID-19. Now, actually, in France, uh, if you look at, at the facts, doctors are allowed to prescribe uh, hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin. It's uh, a, the, the, a French uh, health, health uh, council has advised against this kind of treatment. Uh, it is certainly un unorthodox and it is not uh, seen as, uh, as the right approach. But doctors are, are, are still uh, using this approach. So actually, you can't arrest somebody for doing this in the first place. But that's how it was being presented in a lot of uh, media. Now, in fact, if you look at... Uh, the local uh, state broadcaster of France Info in Polynesia, they spoke to the police. They they gathered the facts in this particular case, and what had emerged uh, what emerged is that in fact he had uh, assaulted by throwing objects at a bailiff who had come uh, to ask him to speak in front of a professional counsel. A, a complaint had been issued, so you could look into all of this. You know, should the complaint have been issued? Could he have defended himself in front of this professional counsel? Should he have been brought in front of this professional counsel? They're all valid questions, but he threw objects at this bailiff who then had to take eight days off work because, uh, you know, he, he of the stress or of so, the injuries involved. That's why he ended up being, haul, being hauled out of his surgery, his doctor's surgery, in that way. So, so, so just, just to sum up, not because to of sum it wasn't treatment. because of the actual hydro, the prescribing of hydrochloroquine or the use right. of that. It was because he'd assaulted... The, the allegedly exactly. assaulted the bailiff. Exactly. That's what so the arrest was about. But, he, he, but it's been portrayed in a different way. That's right. So he's quite well known uh, and he became well known in the media for following the so-called Raoult Protocol. Mm. Dr. Didier Raoult in Marseille is Marseille. well known for using uh, hydroxychloroquine mm. and iver ivermectin. Got a huge amount of media coverage for that. Yeah. And it is controversial. So the, the manner of the arrest was linked to that. In fact, it had nothing to do with it. All right. So that that's one piece of... Uh, uh, one piece of, um, I suppose, inaccurate news, at least, that has been circulating related to COVID-19 in, uh, in the last few days here in France. Staying with COVID-19, a doctor in Idaho, we're going stateside now, That's has right. claimed that the uh, mRNA vaccines have caused cancer, or caused cancer, and that claim has gained huge traction online. Uh, that does, doesn't surprise me people looking at that, but I suspect this claim is... Bogus. Mm, yeah. Well, well. Sir, sir, you, sir, you tell me. Right. Well, so he, he's 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 become quite a controversial figure. He's used terms such as needle rape to describe uh, the the COVID nineteen vaccine. Needle rape. Needle rape. Okay. So for term for terminology such as that, it's not understand. It's not surprising that he mm. would be a controversial figure. He does uh, ha He is a pathologist with a laboratory and. Uh, what he the, one of the reasons he became so uh, so so uh, sort of central central to the news of late is because of statements he made about his observations in his laboratory. Now he claims to have seen a twenty times increase in incidence of uterus cancer uh, compared to previous uh, times. So it, so let's just take a listen, perhaps, to uh, what he has been saying in an interview that has been now viewed uh, over a million times concerning of all is there's a pattern of these types of immune cells in the body that keep cancer in check. Well, since January 1, in the laboratory, I've seen a 20 times increase of endometrial cancers over what I see on an annual basis. A 20 times increase. I'm not exaggerating at all, because I, I look at my numbers year over year. I'm like, gosh, I've never seen this many. Uh, 
Right. So that's the claim, Mark. Mm. And, uh, you know, he's he, he has a laboratory. He is a, a pathologist. So it carries a certain amount of weight and it went uh, all over the web. Right. And so what happened was factcheck.org, uh, one of the fact checking media, they contacted he he had referenced a, a study done, republished in Nature Reviews drug about mRNA vaccines. And it's a study that goes back to 2018. So it's prior to this particular pandemic, but it's related to the technology used in these vaccines. And so that link uh, that that he so he referenced this research in saying that mRNA vaccines uh, could cause uh, u- uterus cancer, and uh, the the fact checkers uh, got on to this uh, gentleman who is uh, behind that research, and he very cl- plainly stated uh, to uh, factcheck.org, no publications demonstrate that mRNA vaccines cause cancer or autoimmune diseases. So while he was basing some of what he was claiming on this research, certainly in relation to cancer and links to mRNA vaccines. Factcheck.org was able to kind of go to the source of what he was basing those claims on. And the, the researcher behind that said, actually, that's not what I was saying. And we're left with a very disturbing fact that a medical professional, in inverted commas, mm. went on camera talking about the 20 fold increase of right. this cancer in his surgery. Right. One wonders what's going on in his head. Right, right. Well, I mean, I think whatever he's observing going on in his clinic perhaps is an uptick in certain problems, yeah. but to then connect it back to the vaccines is what is questionable and what factcheck.org was able to effectively debunk in this case. James, truth or fake? Thank you very much Thanks, indeed. Mark. Kate, always the truth, never the fake. Great to see you. As for me, you can make your own mind up. <laughs> this is Live in Paris. Stay with us.